In today's video I will solo build a sky base. We will do raiding, PvPing and getting heavily geared very quickly. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 250 likes. You guys are showing tremendous support lately and I really appreciate it. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now and today we're going through another one which is melting minotaur horns. If you want to win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, here we are, Washington, solo, few people on, but today I have one goal in mind, and that is I am going to build a sky base. Obviously it's gonna take a little bit of time, we're gonna have to build a temporary base first. Now I did think of where I want to build it, and either I build it here, which is actually above Kent Traceway, or I build it above Paradise. Both locations not a lot of people go by, so I don't really know where I'll actually build it, but right now what I'm gonna focus on is getting myself some loot, getting myself a small base, Getting as much guns as possible. I think that would be a, a pretty good idea. Now the server is a bit high times load. It's five times load. And apparently airdrops on this server happen every 20 minutes. Which is quite high to be honest. So we're gonna get ourselves some good loot very quickly. Right, let's get ourselves some more meds. Getting a little bit of high ping though on the server too. But shouldn't really be an issue. I have never actually built a solo sky base by myself. Usually whenever I have a sky base, I'm playing with other players. So to do a solo sky base, I think it's gonna take I think it's gonna require a bit of a grind. Obviously, we're gonna have to build up quite high. I don't think I'm gonna make it to sky limit. I just wanna have myself a base a bit higher than the ground. Obviously, it'll be out of range, hopefully, for most guns. So they can't really raid me from the bottom. But that is what I am going to plan for today. I think for now, I'm just gonna build a base over here overlooking this tunnel. So that if I hear shots, I can easily counter, getting myself a few kills. I'm gonna get myself some cloth, make myself a bedroll as well. And we're gonna salvage all of these for metal. Because we're gonna need the saw and a door. Get ourselves a vertical grip, that's pretty good. Put that bad boy there. I've never played on the server, so I don't really know what kind of server it is when it comes to stuff like bullet drop. So it's gonna be a bit of a, a gamble at the same time. Don't know if there's any pay to win either, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I'm gonna go to the farm and try to get myself a chainsaw. If we get one, then that would be great. I, mean, I think over here would be a, a good first base location, temporary base. Nothing too crazy, obviously. Don't wanna build myself anything too insane. There's a zombie right here. Oh, chainsaw instantly all right perfect now, i'm not that big of a fan when it comes to high times loot servers but since my goal is to build a sky base then i don't think it'll be really much of an issue all right so we're gonna just chop down as much trees as possible for us to have a temporary base and then uh, we'll start looting around i'll definitely go to heritage to try to get myself as much 7x's as possible because scopes would be a uh, an essential thing to being a solo especially if i'm gonna build here and if i'm gonna place for example a window and i could just shoot from here all the way over to the tunnel. So we're gonna salvage this floor so that the base would actually look much better. There we go. We got ourselves some pillars as well. And we'll place that bad boy out of there. there. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get myself as much farming done as possible. Get myself a base down. And let's hope that nothing happens until then that I don't die. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine hosting is very easy to learn, the navigation is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Ark and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off. And let's get straight back into the action. Alright, and base is fully sealed. Now just gonna make myself as much storage as possible. Alright, so we're done and I'm gonna put the chainsaw and the saw here and Peacemaker magazine and we have a Peacemaker as a backup gun. So we're gonna do our first run we're gonna try to get as much loot as possible and hopefully we'll get ourselves some good stuff. I'm gonna go to Heritage, obviously. That's my plan. Maybe we'll get a rocket launcher, that would be insane. We got a Chief Top, Yuri, but we don't really need that. 7X, another one, good. Oh, rocket launcher! Bro, there's no way... Alright, well, since we got a rocket launcher, I will try to do a base raid at some point, obviously. But probably after the sky base is done. But yeah, got ourselves a lot of metal, which is good, so that we can start upgrading base to full metal. 
It's really what I'm gonna hope for, especially for when we get the sky base done. It's very easy to get loot on five times, man. Super easy, especially on Washington. If you just kill a mega zombie, you have raiding gear. Alright, so we're back. Got a full wardrobe of metal already. That's crazy. I may actually start upgrading this base to full metal, to be honest. Oh, there's people there. Oh, there's a duo. Oh, it has bullet drop. Alright, one is dead. Bro, it's a duo and there's bullet drop. I did not know that. He had a saber. He almost killed me, actually. Oh, I gotta reload my magazine. Yeah, I have no more extra mags. Alright, street fill. There we go. Where did the second dude run off to? Uh, wait, did he just run away? Yeah, he just ditched his teammate and just ran completely away. Let's get to full HP, so while we're at it. Yeah, the loot is right back there. Let's try to see what he had. I don't know where his teammate went, bro. Yeah, we got a backpack finally. A heartbreaker. Okay. Yeah, the headlamp, blowtorch. That's exactly what I needed. That's what I was gonna try to get for. There's a laser to... Oh, he's right back there. Bro, die. There we go, he's dead. Damn, that guy tanked so many shots. Alright, there we go. Laser. Let's take all of the metal binoculars. We can do those as makeshift scopes. Having scopes on bullet drop is essential as well. It's so needed. Right, let's kill the zombie. Raw. Another raw. I think that's... There's a saber here. I have no space though. And yeah, my vault is full. I think I'm gonna have to ditch the saber. Let's see what he had. Yeah, he didn't have anything. Some meds. They had so many binoculars and tape, bro. Alright, let's go back to base. Wait, I heard steps outside. Bro, my inventory is all full. Hey, there's somebody outside. Yeah, what? Oh, this guy's geared, bro. He has Elise back and everything. What? Oh my god. Dude, this guy is stacked. Yeah, let's take everything. Oh, perfect. Nah, that's crazy. He has two industrial gauze cans. Why? Oh, they're talking in chat about me. Yeah, I don't know what they're saying in their language. They're talking about me, though. Yeah, this dude that I just killed is a solo, and he's telling a four-man team where I live, I think. This is actually terrible. I think I'm gonna have to move base. I think I'm gonna have to run away. Because if it's a four-man team, they're all villains. They're gonna come raid me, man. There's no way they're gonna come raid me because I got one kill, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take all the good loot and I'm ditching. I'm out of here. All right, bye. I got all the good loot and I'm leaving. I'm not staying here and get raided and lose all of the loot. Well, it looks like slight change of plans. We're not gonna take that temporary base. We're gonna go build another temporary base. And I think I'm gonna go around Paradise. I'm gonna skip Arlington completely because he said that I live in Arlington. I have to take a bit of a longer route, but I can't die with this loot, man. At least back fully decked out heartbreakers. Two chainsaws. Actually, I don't really have that much loot. I only went on one run. Honestly, if they raid me, they lose profit. There's nothing in my base, except like a few metal. Like there's just five sheets and a saber too. That's it. All right, so temporary one by one is done. I'm leaving everything in here. I'm going to try to go back to the first base that I had. And if they're still there, I'm going to take all the wardrobes and everything. But I think I probably did actually get raided. I don't think there's multiple beds on the server. Yeah, I think that's just one bed. I claimed this bed. Yeah, so I'm going to have to walk all the way back. That's all right. That's no problem at all. Hopefully, I didn't get raided. But I have a huge feeling I actually did. But then again, there's absolutely nothing in that base. What? There's a naked. Yeah, I did get raided. There's a plate. I have a missing roof. Yeah, this is the guy I killed. Yeah, he came back. Was naked. Yeah. Bro, they didn't even bother to raid the locker. Yeah, all of the sheets were in it. Yeah, there's some metal here. All the scopes are still here. The ammo. Bro, they didn't even take what I had. They just wasted stuff. I think they used a charge because the, the locker is damaged. Yeah, everything is damaged, so they used a charge. Alright, they raided me and didn't even take everything. Umbrella. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the, the group. What? What is this dude doing, bro? Hawkhound ammo. Well, it looks like someone died here. Yeah, backpack. Probably died to zombies or something like that. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, he has Heartbreaker. Hit him. Bro. Oh, I'm dead, man. No. Oh, I spawned here. Bro, I gotta try to get that Hawkhound. I don't think I have anything. Yeah, I just... I can't shoot him with a rocket launcher. It's not worth it. Oh, yeah, he didn't take it. It's here, bro. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna try to... I don't know where he went, though. Probably Rian somewhere back here, going to the farm. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's back there. I see him. Yeah, he's shooting at zombies. I'm gonna try to kill him, bro. If we kill him, that would be huge. Yeah, he's right there. Headshot. But... Oh, he's dead. 
Bro, this zombie saved me. Oh, he's geared. Yo, he has a drum in that heartbreaker. All right, that's actually really, really good. Love it. All right, we got a Shadow Stalker too, so that's perfect on bullet drop because they have no bullet drop. All right, and we are back to our temporary one by one. Starting to get quite full as well. All of the storage I have is actually full. We got to get ourselves another makeshift scope. We'll put that bad boy on the actual heartbreaker we have. I think I'm going to try to get myself some more storage actually really quickly. Yeah, it's full, man. I'm going to wear the Elise back for now. And I'm going to chop down trees to get more storage because these crates are full. Alright, so we actually got a diving tank, which is actually really good if I build a bit too high up for Oxy. I don't think I will. I think I'm gonna build it at, like, the limit for the oxygen. The thing is, not a lot of people do come here, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem for us to get spotted. Even if we build it a bit lower. If I were to build it, for example, around Seattle or military, then yeah, we would have to go all the way to the top. But over here, nobody comes to Paradise. Only, like, new players go here. This is why I chose here, because it's a good location. Not a lot of people come here, man. Only people usually passing by. So I actually got a housing planner, which is extremely good. So I'm gonna use that to build my base. It's gonna take so much less time. I was actually worried that it's gonna take me like an hour to build up, but now I'm pretty sure we can do it in around 30 minutes or probably even less. All we gotta do is just have ourselves a few walls, a few stairs and a few pillars, and that's it. And we'll build up as quickly as possible. And then I think I'm gonna extend the base a little bit to the other side, to wherever my, my main base is, my temporary base. And we're gonna build from here. We're at the very top of the map. And here we go. So, I'm gonna have to build, actually, some of the walls. Or else, for some reason, stairs don't work on the server. You need to have a wall somewhere around the stair. It's crazy, I don't know why. And we got three stairs. We're gonna make three walls. And basically, we'll do that. And the stairs, we'll just build up from here. Now, if you guys don't know how to build a sky base, this is basically how it's very simple but it is a bit time consuming if you're in a group though it shouldn't be taking too much time if one of you guys is just farming wood and the other is building up then it would be quite easy and if you have a housing planner that's even better so now i'm probably just gonna spend the next few minutes building up and hopefully we won't die in the process Uh, there's somebody shooting down there. With a peacemaker. I don't know if I should actually continue build or if I should go kill him. But we're almost to where the level I want to be. And I don't really want to be too high up. Just for me to have a sky base basically. But I'm pretty sure from over here we're out of range anyway. And that's the goal that I had in mind. Yeah, yeah, he's got... Dude, I'm gonna try to go kill him. I claimed the bed up there so if I jump off I wouldn't lose all of the height that I've already gained. I'm gonna try to kill this man obviously. Yeah, he's just tapping zombies. He's right there. And he is dead. Alright, let's go check out loot he had. I think he just had a peacemaker. I don't think he had anything that crazy. We still gotta see, man. Uh, my guy had a uh, chainsaw peacemaker and a bunch of clothes. Alright, you know what? I'll take it. He has some food, so I'll actually take that because I'm gonna starve to death soon. And that's not good, man. Alright, so I'm back in my temporary base. I'm gonna start moving all of the loot that I have. Shadow, all of the meds, literally everything. Yeah, the chainsaw. We have a lot of meds, actually. Alright, so I got myself all of the roofs that I needed. The base was technically gonna be finished. I think I'm gonna leave this heartbreaker here. Just in case something is going wrong. Nobody's gonna raid the one by one, honestly. So, might as well just leave this here. And if I need shelter really quickly or something, then that would be... 
our best case to get to, basically. Alright, so let's place the wardrobes, beautiful, and technically, this guy base is done. My mission is completed. So, what I'm gonna try to do next is I'm just gonna try to find myself a base raid, and hopefully, I got myself some good loot from it. I didn't really see any base raids, though. I think this four-man team, uh, they play the server even when there's nobody on, so they kind of raid everybody. But I'll just try to find myself a base, at least one base trade. We do have a rocket launcher. I did craft myself some extra rockets. I got two rockets in total. So if we find the wooden base, then it shouldn't be really much of a problem. But first things first is I'm going to make myself some lockers. So we have ourselves as much storage as possible. It's going to be our locker wall. And if we hear shots over at um, Paradise, then we could easily just go kill him. Very, very, very super easy. If you guys do want to build a sky base in this location, let me know how long you guys lost. Obviously on the server, I have no idea. I really hope that nobody actually comes here. But the server does allow plates, some server don't allow them. So if you find a server that doesn't actually allow plates, then it's a gold mine. Yeah, we can just open the door, check if there's people over there, close it, and basically just jump off. Alright, so an airdrop is actually gonna pass by. It's gonna land close. I think that's gonna end literally at Arlington, so I'm going for it, man. I'm gonna give it a try. Maybe this one gives us some good stuff. Apparently there was an update recently that you can actually get detonators and uh, I think even charges. So that would be huge if we get charges. We could just need one raw and bam, rocket launcher. If we get a deto, that's even also great. Since we have a rocket launcher, I'll probably just use it as a, a horde beacon. I put the drum there because I think people are gonna show up. I don't want to die with a drum, especially since it's my only drum. And so the airdrop landed. I don't think anyone showed up yet. And oh, there we go, charge. Maple strike, bro. There, we just got everything we needed. The charge is crazy. Got ourselves a lot of SMGs, two Bulldogs, Vonya, and an Empire. That's pretty good, man. This Maple Strike is also insane. Alright, not too bad. We got ourselves an empty locker here. Let's just fill this bad boy up. Maple Strike is cool, man. But yeah, with the charge, we can just get ourselves another easy rocket. That's really good. Actually, I'm gonna do that, so... I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna see if... Oh, I didn't close the door. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna see if anyone went for the airdrop. Maybe we can get ourselves a... A couple of kills. Oh, it looks like nobody actually went for it, man. That's crazy. Wait, what? Bro, there's... Yeah, there's a dude here. What's up, man? Bro, he has an Elise back. Let's kill the zombie. Alright, let's check out loot he had. Yeah, a... Oh, there's somebody else with a Peacemaker. What? I have no idea where. I got his good stuff. He had nothing else. I don't know where this dude is. Take the ammo. He had a bull bulldog and a... He had a cobra and a blunt force. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Alright, so it's base rate time. So found this uh, 3 by 2 full wood. Only he's gonna take one rocket to do the job. But technically, we did everything I wanted to. A lot of people are leaving the server, so... So the server's kind of dying out, unfortunately. So, probably just gonna raid this base. Hopefully, I'll get some good stuff from it. And then, we'll probably head off to... But we got a sky base down and raiding gear in around like two hours. Yeah, that lag is crazy though. This server is super laggy to me, man. That vault it takes so long. Alright, so it looks like a lot of metal by the looks of it. Uh, let's take all of this. Yeah, nothing that... I mean, there's a few raw, so we got raw. We got the raw back for that rocket. A lot of metal. Let's just put this. I should have brought the Elise back. Probably gonna home and get the Elise back back. And pick up all of this junk. There's another diving... A uh, bunch of chemicals, glow, food, saber tooth, fussy lot. I'll take that. Got that from an airdrop probably then. Alright, let's home. Yeah, server is starting to get so laggy, man. They have a table in here. <laughs> Insane base raid. But yeah, our job here is finished. We got ourselves a sky base. Few kills, base raid. Temporary base for us to store extra loot. What more could we possibly want? Alright guys, so after that I did head back with the Elise pack and picked up everything else, it was a lot of metal and I upgraded the base to full metal and then I headed off. Server died out, starting to get super laggy for whatever reason and uh, I did not join again. But thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more videos like this in this style, then let me know. I do have a fun time doing these and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!